this is just a sort of semi-long short review of using the Go Launcher, which I highly recommend for anyone using an Android device. What's really neat about it is, for one, with this device, you cannot change the App Drawer apps. When you use the Go Launcher, it's easy as doing that. Just hold down and choose what you want. And you have three different drawers, three, for what you want down there. Some nice features about it is, say when I click on something, you're going to see a highlight in the background, right there. And this is also a Go Launcher app, which is the Go Book app. They have a whole bunch of free books you can download from their store. This right here, widget, the Google widget and the time and weather widgets, a Go widget. Let's see. Don't have my GPS on right now, but this clocks to go widget and I'll show you some preferences that it lets you do Let's see visual settings backgrounds right now the dock backgrounds the go theme background the drawers all well, nice features it has icons Right now mine's the honeycomb. I like it for some reason, just looks nice to me. Fonts. I like sands. And the indicators. Honeycomb. And let's go to screen settings. You can change the size of the grids for how many like apps you want on there. I should have more size but I mean I should have like a 5x5 five five with all I have but I don't really care. You can auto fit items. And I have the screen scroll circularly. And like three dock rows. And loop mode which allows me into like instead of stopping at the home screen you can just go to the last one by swiping to the right and go to the first one by swiping to the left I can show you that right now really fast swipe, see how it's this is my last screen right here or first screen, the home one and you just swipe to the right that's my last screen right there so it doesn't like stop your transitions I'll show you some more Ooh, what was that? oh, effects, my bad is it? Just a shortcut. Preferences is what I want. Um, app drawer settings. Red size. I just went over that. No, I didn't. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, let's see. And you can also lock them, so I'll show you that in a second too. But let's see. Effects. That's what I actually went into. So when I switch, flip my home screens, it's like a flip, and when I'm in my apps, it does like a going into the apps, so it's like a windmill effect, and while I'm in there, it does cylindrical like movements, gestures. So when I slide up or press the home screen, it should go to the home screen, but you can also change what it does. And when I glide up, it shows or hides the notification bar, and when I glide down, it goes to the apps. If you're wondering where my apps button was, that's pretty much it. Let's see advanced settings. Get the notifications. High quality, system persistent. Prevent force closes. I wouldn't use that. And it also checks to see if you're overlapping stuff. And that's about it for the settings. Also, you can see when I click on something, it highlights it. I don't know if I already said that or not. But probably already did. The go book. <laughs> yeah, I already said that. But as you notice, now I flip it, sort of flips, and I go down to the apps. 
does, well, didn't do windmill effect there, but does like a circular thing here. You can also go to recent, running, you can close ones that you aren't really using. Let's see, you can close that just right from here, which is nice. You can also lock the screens so you can hold down on anything and it's not going to do anything. It's not going to see screen lock pops up. Okay, that's about that for the launcher. You can change the wallpapers. There's a whole bunch of the themes. Right now I'm using a honeycomb theme, but there's like so many to choose from, it's insane. I downloaded a whole bunch just to see which ones I like the most. So far it's a honeycomb. Just looks the cleanest to me. And then there is the Go Locker, which I will show you. Right now I have it set to the 3D Worm. And you can have a whole bunch of different lockers. There's not as many lockers as there is themes, but there will be eventually. And you have to download the locker via APK and install it with the APK installer if you're going to use that. And there's like an instant restart for the Go Launcher just in case anything failed. And I'll show you the worm right here in a second. There's the worm. You just cut it to open up the screen. <laughs> Kind of makes my day when I see that. Just joking. <laughs> and that's about it for the Go Launcher. And they're always coming out with new things. Like right now, just there's new themes. Let's see this. And you just notice they're pretty much always free. So, I'll look at it later. But, and also this widget right here is nice from the Go Locker, or Go Launcher. You can pretty much instantly change things. So, I can drop my Wi Fi or sync and stuff like that and change the brightness of the screen. All right there. Also, this. You can add like 20 home screens if you wanted to, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I'd rather just go through my apps and look, but it, I'll just show you, you can, get, you can get pages of home screens. It just keeps on going. So maybe you like a lot of home screens, I don't. But and also the three drawers. I think I already said that. And that's about it for what I'm going into detail right now. So thank you for watching and hope you liked it.